You're watching Hindustan Times and I'm Aditi Prasad. Bollywood actor Sushant Singh Rajput is no more. The police have confirmed it was death by suicide. His death, of course, has brought into sharp focus the darkness that lingers beyond the glamour in Tinseltown, especially in the COVID-19 aftermath, which has brought along undeniable mental stress and lack of hope among many. I have with me senior psychiatrist Dr. Harish Shetty and television actor Divyanka Tripathi to talk about this issue. Uh, let me start with you, Dr. Shetty. Is this the worst time to survive for the patients of depression? Absolutely. There are many problems today. One is that they, many of them are isolated. Many of them are living alone. And isolation and a feeling of loneliness can aggravate depression big time. Second, it's very difficult to access psychiatrists. And even if you access psychiatrists, it's very difficult to get medication because the laws are very strict. There are telemedicine guidelines which are not clear. Number four is if their close relatives have been stuck somewhere in a different city or in a different country. And as, as during lockdown, they, they are not able to access their, their loved ones. So that's also a double whammy. And, and that's a very bad cocktail for patients who are suffering from depression. Lastly, if the building is contained and it's locked down because of some, some case of corona, they will, they will not be able to go to the neighbors, talk to the neighbors. And as of now, in an era of globalization and anonymity, uh, we're all isolated. We may not be in contact with each other. That's how it is. So isolation coupled with depression, you believe that could, that is a... That suicide is a, cocktail. It's a suicide cocktail. So isolation coupled with depression, you think, is a suicide cocktail. Um, let me just, you know, because right now everybody's talking about depression on Twitter. In fact, depression was even trending a few hours uh, ago. Uh, you know, the conversation around mental health is right now at its peak on social media, you know, because a young, successful actor has ended his life who was in the public eye. Um, you know, unfortunately, any talk on social media is really fleeting. How important is to bring this conversation into the mainstream? Uh, it is extremely important to bring this conversation on the news stream because uh, around the time of Corona and even before that, we had very dangerous statistics. The global burden of disease, which was released two, three months before the Corona epidemic, said that one out of seven Indians are mentally ill. Big number, 20 crore Indians need psychiatric treatment. The NCRB figures also said that one out of five people who have died of suicide are daily wage laborers. One out of six people who have died of suicide are housewives. And one out of three most common causes for suicide is our family problem. So in this background, uh, we've had a fertile ground for those who are suffering the corona epidemic, the fear psychosis, to get worse. So this is a very fertile ground for mental illness. It's a very fertile ground for psychosis, depression, anxiety, and suicides. Let me bring you here, bring you in here, Divyanka. How big is the pressure on artists, especially in the wake of this whole COVID-induced lockdown and its aftermath? You know, you don't know when the when you're going to get get work. Really. Uh, uh, you, you really have to continue paying your bills. You have to continue with everything. Uh, and work really uh, has sort of over the last three months, you're not really going out and meeting people and uh, not being able to do shoots and not being able to actually go out for work. How is this, uh, you know, uh, affecting, uh, you know, artists? And, and, and really, let me talk about you, Divyanka. How has it been for you so far, the lockdown? Uh, I've heard lots of stories from other friends of mine who have been facing lots of trouble during these times. Uh, the first is that for actors, um, their life is always full of uncertainties. Uh, there's always financial management that where they lack. They're never taught how to manage their, um, their money. Uh, they, they keep struggling. You know, they're, they're always waiting between jobs. And now the wait is further more increased. Uh, you always have overheads like your rent or EMIs and you have certain planning going on, like especially for television actors or those uh, who had some uh, web series in pipeline. They knew right. that the, that certain money will come in eventually, but now even that won't be coming in. And, and EMI wise, I don't think anybody is getting any help through moratorium. It's 
it's i don't know what it's just a gimmick but not a financial help for sure because you know that today you are paying the interest and tomorrow emis yeah. are going to get, going to get increased so uh, there's definitely no help coming in uh, in fact lots of actors are leaving their homes going back to their hometowns the worst problem is that actors they generally lose their relationships while working because when we work we are so absorbed in our work so much into it that uh, we generally actors uh, tend to uh, uh, overlook their families they are not in in connect with with their loved ones so uh, it's very important to have some social contact and now especially during corona they are missing out on that social contact as well um so jo thode bahut bhi kareebi the jo ki shayad sirf dost the kyunki parivaron se to ab waise rishte maintain nahi ho pate hain aam taur pe actors ki jab wo regularly work kar rahe hote hain aur ab normal friends se bhi aap nahi mil pao to it can be highly depressing for them